Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. Welcome to your September 1st through 15th, 2021 reading. Many blessings to you all. This is a collective reading for all Aries, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With that, let's go right on into the energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. This is the energy of being very financially stable and grounded, being very much in a place of opulence, having money in hand and the security of this solid gold pillar encrusted with emeralds. It is a very solid foundation energy and being very much in a place of financial abundance. Then we have the Fool, which is the beginning of a new cycle. This is the combined energy of the ending of the last cycle with a clean transition into the beginning of the next cycle as the adventure begins there's nothing lingering from the past so this is the the perfect energy back to back simultaneous change of energy stepping literally from one door into the next so as though the doors are just completely touching each other so as you pass through the doorway you leave the past behind and begin the fresh new entrance to the beginning here so Pretty good start, Aries. <laughs> Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, ooh, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aries, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So you had the Wheel of Fortune as your second cut card, Aries. That is the grand opening of the movement forward. So feeling stuck and... Uh, in a rut, feeling like there's no no option to move forward, is about to end. This is being launched, literally catapulted through all red lights turn green, all doors open, even whatever may have been standing in the way has now dissolved to dust. So, Aries, this is a big energy. Nine of Cups, Heart's Desire being granted is your first card in the reading. This is the energy of being absolutely in a place of abundance and heart's desire being granted. So very, very solid energy regarding the new energy coming in to allow you to have what you need exactly when you need it and feeling accomplished and stable and secure in that energy. So with that heart's desire being granted, you're planting what's finished it is standing on its own. It's capable of doing its own thing now. And you're able to step into your future, taking on this new journey, as we saw with the Fool, the beginning of the next cycle, beginning something of your choosing as you move forward. Moving forward again, Eight of Cups. This is the energy of graduation, receiving all the knowledge and the experience that you needed, and now being able to take that and be on the other side of the of the. Um, not really obstacle. It's more of a um, was your like a it's more of a quest. You finished all the all the little all these cups represent a new thing, and that's when this eight is perfect energy moving from this eight into the nine. So this is the energy of completing the cycle, and now you feel like okay, I did everything I was supposed to, and now everything's lining up for me to have my best possible life and this king of pentacles is showing up to tell you financial security is at hand this is someone making a financial commitment or being in a place where a commitment can be made and it's not a it's not a fly by night commitment this is the king midas energy and he is sitting on that throne it's kind of a stubborn cuss so <laughs> he's not going to get up and run off when he makes the commitment he's going to honor it and stick to it so that's wonderful because that means you will be uh in a place of stability financially. We have the seven of wands, which is telling you to hang in there, stick to your guns. Don't, um, don't let other people's opinions sway you. It's hard when, when, especially when it's people you care about, they may not have a full understanding 
and most of the time when people are, are trying to um, get in your business they don't really have the full grasp of what's going on and they want to try to tell you anyway just allow yourself to stick to what you believe the seven of wands means stick to your guns hang in there and don't let other people step on your dream people pour salt they do, I don't know if it's just an innate thing but you have to be the one that believes in you enough that you can stick to it page of swords is getting the information you need to help you move forward so whatever you're waiting to find out and the seven of pentacles means what you have done is bearing fruit so this means what what you working toward what your plan was to move forward all the energy that you've invested in yourself and in this dream is being brought to bear as it ripens on the vine right here at the seven of pentacles it means the harvest is on the way it's not quite the very second that it shows up but the fruit is ripening on the vine <laughs> and i was about to say and the harvest can come next and there's the harvest ten of pentacles we'll take it hallelujah we love the Ten of Pentacles. That is the abundance that you work toward here. The Ten of Pentacles is the lifetime of abundance. This means whatever you have brought to bear is the... the so, so everybody's lifetime of abundance is a different number. Everyone doesn't have the same number. It is the ability to either have a lump sum of money show up or over time the amount of money that you have earned or brought brought into uh, function and been in this place of circulation this 10 is the harvest of all of the work you've done in your entire lifetime now we have the seven of swords which means you can walk away from what no longer serves you whether that means a new job that you've gotten here is now letting you give your two weeks notice where you are currently or letting you shed some of the things that you don't feel like are part of what you should be doing yeah, there's the financial offer being made. So this is the literally the presentation of the new beginning here as you are now able to move forward with this page. That's the actual deal being struck or the agreement having having happened. Now you're going, oh, well, when is this going to happen? Well, the Five of Pentacles is indicating it's in the works right now. Just because you can't see it right in front of you this very moment doesn't mean it's not in the vibrational energy so remember this is on the back side of her behind her back it's happening just because you can't see it if I cover it up and go okay this five of pentacles no longer exists does it not exist it exists it just blocked from your view because it's not in the vibrational frequency of this particular frequency we're in in this dimension it is formulating. That is what manifesting is all about, is bringing something from the unseen into the scene. And that is happening in the background. You don't have to be part of it to receive it. It doesn't have to interact with you until it gets here, right? And we have our own little things going on. These are little... <laughs> My guides are saying trifles. <laughs> These are mere trifles. They're just little nuisances, little disagreements, maybe at the current employer or having to go through some 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 conflicting things where you have a little bit of little bit of something you gotta kind of dust some poo off your shoe, right? These are people trying to give you some some grief. Or it can be a minor kerfuffle. It's not major. Don't worry about it. It will pass. It is only temporary, it will pass. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Aries, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Thank you for being here. So this little card flipped over. This is the Aquarius Major Arcana, the star card, and it's right on top of the heart's desire being granted, the nine of cups. You've got the soul's desire being granted. So this is a soul's energy of saying yes. You are clear for takeoff on this particular lifetime's destination. 
you're being open the door. So all of these are saying that. All of these, even this one. Okay, so it's up to you. The manifestation is for you to go for what you want, to choose what you want to take part in, and to aim your energy in that direction. As you see the outcome that you want, it brings it to you. You have to be in a place of already receiving it in your heart as though it has happened. Visualize the end result, not the in-between, the end result. What is the ultimate outcome? And you've got the Eight of Cups with the Seven of Cups on top of it. So this is where you're in the energy of being able to move forward and let the universe show you all the possibilities. And then the universe turns around and dumps all this stuff in your lap that you asked for <laughs> all at the same time. So what it means is this dump truck load of blessings, quite literally the Seven of Cups is where everything shows up at the same time and you have to deal with it. It's okay, it's great, but it is a little stressful because it's all happening simultaneously. <laughs> When it rains, it pours, right? So then you've got this King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is coming with this Page of Cups. And this is the energy of abundance. This is the wave of abundance coming in. And this little page has a fish in his cup. So this is the signature of the universe saying, you are 100% being provided for. This King of Pentacles, King Midas energy, is coming to make the commitment solidly, planted in the energy of I'm here I'm secure if you'll do what I ask you to do or need you to do we can work together and we will be very financially stable remember you had the queen at the beginning now we have the moon which is the Pisces moon and this is the energy of something developing or being brought to light um, it means it's all being worked on in the other side of the veil as you continue to manifest, you continue to bring it in. So it's your energy. It's like eating enough divine energy and divine frequency to push it towards your goal to feed two things because you've got this reality and then the reality you're actually creating. So as you actively create it, you have to feed it source energy and that's the energy of your belief. But you've got to pull in enough to be able to cast that out into this energy and still have your own operational energy. It's like eating for two, basically. Same, same scenario. If you were growing a baby within you, you'd have to eat enough food to grow the baby. Well, when you're manifesting, you've got to pull enough light and put it into the energy. There's the Eight of Pentacles, which means mastering something new that causes more abundance to come to you. So that's wonderful bringing yourself to a place of mastering a skill or bringing in knowledge that helps to advance you. And this is Six of Swords, which is allowing yourself to be launched in a new direction. This is a smooth transition. It means you're going in the right direction, taking your skills and abilities and moving forward. It's saying whatever this you've invested in, you're going in the right direction. You've got the Emperor, which is the Aries Major Arcana. This is your Major Arcana card. And it's also the energy of the universe having fully manifested what you want and showing up with it. And that's that Ten of Pentacles. Remember, the Ten is the end of a cycle. So it means you have accomplished now the, the abundance you want. Now, this to Seven of Swords is walking away from what no longer serves you, leaving behind what you no longer need, and it can mean giving two weeks notice. So, changing jobs here. And to all believers means stay in your faith and allow yourself to continue to move forward in success. And that's the Knight of Rods, which is the action of accepting this new wonderful agreement that is being made and being able to go forward and prosper in that energy with that four of cups as the underlier for your clarifiers it's saying don't miss your opportunity because it doesn't come in this this colored wrapping paper you think it should right just because it's on the outside doesn't look like it's what you asked for vet it before you turn it away because that is the hand of the universe offering something wonderful that you do actually want 
<laughs> so don't let it slip away just because it's, you don't recognize it. Investigate further before you say no. So, my darling Aries friends, have a beautiful first half of September. This is an amazing reading. You've got the beautiful Aquarius Major Arcana and the Nine of Cups right there at the top, which is letting you know the heart and soul's desire being granted. Moving forward, you've got a lot of movement here. So, be ready. And um, many blessings to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for participating. And as always, thank you for being part of my journey. I'll see you again soon. Namaste, my friends.